Yo guys, it's Nate and welcome back to Nate's New Stuff. Uh, this is episode three, I believe, or four. I don't know what, it's a bit eight. So, let's clear it up now, so I don't have to say it again. Episode one for me is classing as the Christmas haul and all the introduction video did, okay, all good. So, today is the first ever video um, strictly based on Funko Pops. I showed them off in my Christmas haul, the one I got for Christmas, um, but this is a primar this is primarily a Funko Pop video. And as you probably guessed by clicking on this video, we're doing all my DC Pop vinyls. Now, I decided to do these first because I don't actually have many DC Pop vinyls compared to all the other ones I got. I don't have many DC ones. Um, I like the DC shows, I like the DC movies, well, some of the DC movies. Um, but I just, I just, I have more Marvel than I have DC. Um, therefore, the ones that I do have in DC, I have because they, because they're, Special to me, basically. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get straight into it and show you guys my DC Funko Pops in order of how I got them. The first one is this guy. It is the Flash, uh, the season one Flash from the Flash TV show. Um, now, Flash is primarily my favorite uh, uh, CW show. It's the only one I watch, other than when I watch the crossovers. Even though I do have to get into like other ones, because especially Supergirl, I watched season one of that. And it was okay, like I liked it, but I never really got into it. But apparently they got some cool stuff with Lex Luthor and everything and all. I, I just want to see it. But yeah, this is the first ever DC one I got. Um, well, I got three DC ones, all from this set. Um, but yeah, The Flash is a big sad to me because he's my favorite, he was my favorite superhero for a long time. Uh, just because I really enjoyed The Flash shows. Um, the number 213, is it? Yeah, 213. Second one is the Reverse Flash. Same line, but uh, it's the Reverse Flash. Um, again, just wanted more of these guys, so I got the reverse flash at the same time that I got the flash. Of course, right at the end, Captain Cold and Masked. Uh, for the exact same reason of getting all of these. I just, I just, I just love the Flash TV show. Uh, you can get five in this first season one line. I know they've done more now with like I think Zoom and I know uh, Vibe is one, um, which I'm definitely gonna have to get. Uh, but you can get the Flash and Masked, and you can get regular Captain Cold who had his hood up. Uh, obviously, I've got the unmasked one. But yeah, these are the first like couple of. A couple of DC pop vinyls that I ever had, and they uh, I'm happy with the collection. Flash, uh, Reverse Flash, you've got Thorne, Harrison Wells, whatever, and uh, Captain Cold, Leonard Snow, and Barry Allen right to the front. The fourth technically ever DC one I got, um, but obviously second in terms of these, but all the first one is regular Flash again. Uh, but this is uh, the DC Superhero specific Flash, it is the a kind of comic accurate flash, I don't know, I'm bringing it close to the camera because it won't be a focus. Um, out of this line, now I actually would like to have this line, uh, you've got Batman, Robin, Joker, Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, Harley Quinn, Deathstroke and like a, like, a, like a zombie Superman I believe, Ooh, what's that say? I don't know, I can't even read with my glasses on. Um, yeah, I would like to have them actually, so I think I might get into them even though I did a bad thing the other day and I literally, but well, last night I literally pre-ordered um, uh, Captain America wielding me only with a broken shield. I shouldn't have done that because I can't really afford it right now. But I did it. Um, yeah, I really like this suit. It definitely, like, what I like about this suit is that it looks like the suit that the Big Bang Theory had, where not when Sheldon dressed up, but when he had that dream after he was drinking like, too many Red Bulls or something. Um, and yeah, obviously they based that off the comic suit. But yeah, it just, it just looks really flash and really awesome. And I just, I really like the design of this guy. He's number 10 as well, so he's very, uh, well, Batman's number one, Robin's number two, and then you've got six, seven, eight, and ten. The next one that I acquired was first appearance Batman from the 80th anniversary line. Um, I love these. I seen them all in Tesco, and they were literally all of them there. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to get one of them because, you know, it's Batman. And then when I eventually did go to get one, they were all sold out. All of them were sold out. And I was like, oh my god, you're joking. And I went to the toy aisle, because like they were in their old separate like casing. I went to the toy aisle, and there was one left, and it was first appearance, I was like, great, it's probably one of the coolest ones. So I got first appearance Batman, and I love this. I love this all black and gold, and you don't have the white box. Um, I just really love it. I should probably stop, like, smacking about the place. But no, I just, I really, really love this uh, figure. I, I do want to get more Batman. I want to get loads more DC ones. Obviously, I can't really afford it right now. Um, hopefully, I can get a job soon. Uh, but, it'd be, be, yeah, I just, I, I'm, I really like this pop final. I really love the box of it. Um, like I just said, the black and gold looks great. I mean, the white looks great anyway, but black and gold looks sick. Yeah, he's pretty much all black and grey, but he's got his, uh, his like, bluey purple gloves. And I really like him. It is really tempting to get him out of the box, but, but no. 
And my last set of DC Pop finals, you guys have already seen in the Christmas haul. It's the Shazam uh, Funko Pops. I did show these off in my uh, Christmas haul, but I just kind of put them all together. So I'm going to go through these guys individually. So first, of course, we have uh, Zachary Levi Shazam. I know it probably might not be great to see it under the slighting condition, but Zachary Levi Shazam. Um, I love this uh, figure. I literally, you can only get six, and I've got all six. I love this figure, he looks great. Um, only thing that annoys me about this figure is that they call him Shazam, because I mean, technically it's Shazam, even though they never say the superhero's name, he's Captain Marvel really. But for example, like this guy's called Shazam, but then he's called Eugene. So, you know, it's like, shouldn't it be Billy, at least, to match all of them, but that's the only complaint. Um, I really like this, I really like this figure, and again, like, especially with these guys, it's like, I want to get them out of the box so bad. But I'm not at the same time. Moving on to Dala. I really like the character of Dala. That was really cute. And uh, I, I really like, well, I, I was listening to like a director's commentary thing. Uh, so apparently this isn't true. But the way I saw it was, she was always the slowest to do things. Uh, and then she ended up utilizing speed a lot. So I thought that was cool. But apparently you never planned that. But she, you, 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 don't, you don't speak from a. The amount of time somebody's gone to our films and gone, oh, that's cool. I see how you, what you did there. And I was like, I'm like. Yeah, it was intentional, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I really like Darla. Uh, one issue I have with this, and I think after the Shazam on this, I have no more issues with any of them. One issue I have is, um, and it's really like OCD issue, like it's nothing major. The character has like eyeliner. See the purple eyeliner? But the little caricature in the front doesn't. And that annoys me and I don't know why. But yeah, I, I love the model of this. Obviously, they didn't just copy and paste the model because uh, not only is Darla has got a feminine body, but uh, sleeveless. And they, they, they generally like showed off, like, kind of... Like, they, they haven't, like, held back with these characters. Like, this looks like Darla from the thing. Obviously not the, the child Darla, but the Shazam Darla. Um, yeah, I, 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 I do think it's good. I really do think it, like, they really resemble their older counterparts. Moving on to Eugene. Eugene was a really cool one for me. Um, I really liked how how he was like, just like, yo, look, look at me. I'm also. I, I suppose they were all that, especially Freddy. But no, um, Eugene was cool. I really liked how they made him utilize lightning out of all of them. I think that was really cool. Uh, cause he's like a hacker. He's like, a, you know, whatever. Um, I, I'm pretty sure for the for the males, they've just like copy and pasted the body. Pretty sure that was the case, um, but again, they all have to have kind of different hairstyles and heads anyway. So I think I think that they did a great job on Eugene. Next up is Mary. Again, uh, love this character, love this figure. And evidently, again, they put they put uh, effort into this character. They have to make a no model because uh, she has the skirt, which none of, her, none of the other ones have. Um, but she also has kind of she has sleeves, but they they are kind of like short sleeves, like they don't go all the way down. And also the hair, the way they've done the hair, I think that looks great. Like I was down to one side there, I've just done like the sound of like crop the hair kind of there. Um, yeah, Mary looks great uh, in 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 pop final in pop final form. Next up we have Pedro. Now Pedro is one of my favourites by far, mostly the beard. Like the beard, just he just looks sick. Um, and I also love how uh, they made the joke of like, oh, he's trying to buff up. Uh, and then he kind of has, he kind of, he is kind of just like, ah, me. Uh, I really like this one. The, the green is extremely vibrant. I like, I like what they've done with all the colours, but this one in particular, the green is just so vibrant, and it's, it's just, it looks great, and I love it. There's not much I can say about these, about these pops, other than how much I love them. Again, I'd love to take this out of the box, but it just. Last but not least, good old Fredo, little Freddy. Um, again, the blue is extremely vibrant, and I love that. Um, same model, more or less. Oh, I've been lying slightly. The capes go different ways on some of them. So, like, he has the same cape as, like, uh, who's this? Eugene has the same cape as Shazam. It goes to, it goes to the left. Freddy's goes to the right. Dallas goes to the right. Pedro's go. I can't even see what I'm looking at. Wee. Pedro's goes to the left. It's to the right, sorry. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Okay, that's cool. At least uh, the capes go in different directions, so they're not complete, like, copies of the models. But yeah, uh, love the vibrant blue. Uh, Freddy was definitely one of my favourite characters as well. Like, he was just he was, he was, was just hilarious. And especially when he became a superhero, he was like, yo, I can fly. Like, 
I'll, I'll, especially last season he's like, look, pal, right? For the past like ten years, I've been studying every superhero's fight style. So just don't even bother. Just bring it like, uh, yeah, I love that. And I, I, I love, I love this this pop as well. Part of the reason why I love these pop fans was first of all, I love uh, uh, Zachary Levi. I think he's great. Love Chuck. One of my favorite shows. My favorite show ever. My favorite show ever. Chuck, hands down. Um, lo love it. But also, when I watched the film for the first time, I had no idea that because obviously I, I wasn't, a, I didn't really know Shazam as a character. Like I knew of him, I knew what he did. Um, but I had no idea that this was gonna happen. So not only does no matter how many times I watch the scene where they all say Shazam and the lightning bolt comes down and that crutch just drops on the floor, not only do I get goosebumps every single time I watch that. You guys know I'm a massive Power Ranger fan, right? I like Voltron as well. I'm not saying a massive Vol Power Ranger uh, Voltron fan, but I like Voltron because of Power Rangers. You know, like, stuff like this where there's a team and they're colour coded, I, I, I just love it. So when this happened I was like, yo, what do you mean? Why are the Power Rangers in Shazam? What's going on? I like, yo, I just love that. So I have to get these. Um, oh, just looking at that is, is just great, like, I love that. But yeah guys, these are all the DC pop vinyls I have. I do have loads more pop vinyls and I'll definitely be getting more in the future. I'll definitely have to get some more DC ones. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and please consider subscribing because the channel's doing great and consi considering the subscribers we have. We have like 21 subs um, and each video gets like 70 to 100 views each, which is great. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to Film From Studios if you like uh, fan films, action films, stuff like that and like film reviews. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next Nit Nerd Stuff video. Goodbye.